Your book is done and you're ready to upload it to Ingram Spark. Congratulations. How do you do that though? Stay tuned. That's exactly what I'm covering today. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing my insights about all things books and publishing with you. Before I get into the details about today's video, don't forget to hit subscribe. You'll be here every week as I release new videos about publishing, making a career to being an author, and now being a mompreneur. And today I'm going to be talking to self-publishing authors who are ready to get their book up onto Ingram Spark for wide distribution. Congratulations. Now today I'm going to dive in and show you exactly how you can upload your book to Ingram Spark. I'll show you how to do this for print books today. Um, I have a different aggregator that I use for eBooks, um, so I just do print with Ingram Spark. So that's what I'm showing you. Now today I'm uploading a second edition for my novel Enemies of Peace. I want to give a really big thank you shout out to Formatted Books for giving this novel a much needed facelift. Um, it looks amazing. I'm really excited to get that going. So because it is a second edition, I'm going to have an extra segment at the end of the video about that step in the process. Process. So obviously, if you're uploading a first edition, you know you don't need to follow on. If you're uploading a second, third, fourth additional edition, um, then stay tuned for that. Um, and I have entire videos about when you need to do a second edition, how to do it. Um, so that's going to be linked below and above. Okay. Now, before you sit down to upload, you need to have the following. So if you don't have any of these things figured out, pause this video, get that figured out, and then come back. All right, so you will need your finished interior files, your in finished formatted PDF um, interior files for your print book. You will need the finished cover files um, in the Ingram Spark print template. You need to have your ISBN. I always advocate that you own your ISBN and you don't get the freebies. You need to have your book description, your pricing plan, and know your categories and keywords. Um, so that's what you need. So I always suggest when I'm doing these videos, have my video up on one screen and have your Ingram Spark uh, login up on the other. So that way you can literally follow along click for click to know what's going on. I'm happy to virtually hold your hand through this process. All right, let's get to it. Good afternoon from Ingram Spark. So today I'm going to be adding both a paperback and a hardcover with a dust jacket version of Enemies of Peace. This is the second edition. I'm super excited for it. So I'm just going to dive right in. Now, obviously, I've already navigated from my home screen down to titles, all titles, add title. I could even go down here to add title. Um, there's two ways to get there, which is super convenient. I'm just going to go with this button up here. If you go from the side, that's fine too. It gets you to the same place. Okay, I am printing. I'm doing a print book only. I get my wide ebook distribution through Smashwords slash Draft to Digital. So I really am doing only print. Um, if you're doing print and ebook, that's cool. Um, but I'm just doing print. Yes, all of my files are ready. I always, 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 did I mention always recommend have all your files ready, have all your files done. Don't bank on the fact that you're going to just have everything ready by the date it needs to be done by. Make sure it's done first. Okay, and I want to print, distribute, and sell the book. Um, if I just wanted to be able to print the books and order them myself and resell them, that's something you could do. Um, I want the distribution. That used to matter a bit more when um, you had to pay for each upload to Ingram Spark. You would only pay for the distribution, not for just being able to print it. Um, but now that's free, so I don't, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I typed in the title. I have my language. Now I need the ISBN. Now this is the same paperback ISBN that I just used with Amazon. You can see that um, tutorial uh, from a couple of weeks ago. I'll link it up here, but I am filling this out on the same day. You can absolutely use the same ISBN for your paperback across platforms. Just do it on the same day. Um, it really should be the same identifying number throughout the world. I own the copyrights. Yes, I do. Nope, my title doesn't own anything owned by anybody else. Okay, now what's really important is this drop down here. It's hidden, um, but show more fields to improve book optimization. This is super important. This is where you add your subtitle. If it has a subtitle, your series name and number. And for me, this is a second edition. So I'm putting number two here. And that's really important for this book for me. If this is a very first book for you, it's not part of a series. It doesn't have a subtitle. It's the first edition. You don't need to put first edition here. Don't worry about that. You can leave it empty. But if you have any of those things, this is where you'd put that in. Okay. So Okay, so in this case, the author is me, but I also have a second contributor, which is the person who wrote the foreword, Doug Nordman. I've worked with him for a while. He's been a really great um, supporter and friend and helped um, promote this book in the first edition. So it was felt so natural to ask him for the foreword, and he agreed. 
as you can see, there's way more options here um, than there were in Amazon for the contributor. <laughs> okay, so that information is filled in. Ba, 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 ba. I could add more contributors, but that's not the case. So if, again, if you have a children's book, an illustrated book, this is where you'd add the illustrator. If it was translated, if you have footnotes by somebody, anybody who materially contributed, you'd be adding them here. If it was like multiple authors in an anthology, you would add them all here. For most of my books, it's just me. This is the first time I actually have a forward by contributor, which is really exciting. Okay, my imprint populated through subjects. So Ingram Spark pulls from BSAC subject codes. Again, I have a whole video on that. Um, so here we can just search and find these. And I can just search, um, which is really nice, um, and just add the subjects. For best results, pick three. Um, add. Okay, so it says choose three subjects. I added the three of them. I could find other ones if I wanted to. Trade, adult, general, don't need to add any more. Again, if I was doing this for a children's book, I would be very specific about the age range, whether it was middle grade or YA or children's books or chapter books, um, but that's not the case here. All right, so everything I've entered so far, the ISPN, the language, the title, um, the edition information, um, the authors and contributors, that can't, the imprint, that can't change. The subjects can change, um, the title description can change, and the keywords can change. So I want you to keep that in mind um, as you're going through this, that you absolutely can change those. Okay, so after you've typed those in, they're separated by semicolons, um, you go ahead and you click continue. Cool. Okay, so here it's giving you the standard trim sizes. If yours is not a standard trim size, right down here you have a drop down. So a lot of the children's book sizes, workbook sizes are down here. My book's a six by nine. Standard size, I love it, it's super easy. I don't have to remember any points or decimal points, just six by nine, that works for me. Okay, I have a black and white interior. I kind of like that they show color, full color. This one's gray. Okay, um, I'm good on just the standard paper. I don't need anything fancy, um, but I like, again, I like to have the cream. Um, I think the cream with black ink is easier on the eye than the white with black ink. The contrast is a little bit lower. And I'm doing a paperback for this one. I will be doing a hardcover for the next one. Okay, matte. Okay, duplex enabled. So this is where there's something printed on the inside and outside of that paperback cover. I'm not doing that. Okay, and this is asking for my page count. It's 242, which is nice. It's telling me the cost per book. Now, if you also watch the Amazon upload, it was 390 to print on Amazon. It's 467 to print here with Ingram Spark. Interesting. Okay. So this is the fun part. Um, I feel like there's always something glitchy here, so you get to just experience this with me. So the retail cost for paperback is going to be 16.99. Okay, I have to do the minimum of 40 um, to be able to get it to distribute. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. And then I need to fill this out for every single um, item. I say return, I say yes, destroy. Um, before when I had a uh, yes, deliver, it was very expensive when I just had a few books returned and I decided that wasn't what I wanted with my life. Um, So I just have it as destroy now. I get very few returns, thankfully, um, but I just don't want to have to risk that. Okay, I understand. I'm applying a discount less than 55. I understand. Yes, destroy. I understand these prices. An automatic currency conversion. I understand. I'm good with it. Um, okay, enable look inside the book. Yes, this is not a large text, and it's not right to left content. So right to left content is primarily used um, with certain languages that read right to left. This is a left to right book. I don't need to check it. If you have a right to left book, you will know it. Um, if you're writing in English, um, most likely you're left to right. If you're doing manga, um, that's right to left. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be, there needs to be a publication date today. It's okay if it's today. Okay, on sale date today. 
Okay, now if you're doing a pre-order, you would pick the future date of one. So in this example, I'm uploading this on Christmas. Why? Because nobody's doing any construction in my condo and I know nobody's really uploading, so it should be fast to get these done on this platform. Um, but let's say I wanted February 1st to be my release date. I would pick February 1st, 2024 for both of these as my pre-order date. Don't ask me why. Why doesn't it say pre-order release date? I don't know. But if you want to do a pre-order, that pre-order release date needs to be picked for both publication date and on sale date. Just go with it. I spoke to somebody directly at Ingram Spark, uh, from Ingram Spark at Nink, and I asked them about this. Um, and hopefully it's on their list of fixes now. Okay, so now we're at the upload. Yay! And the beautiful part is I can literally just drag and drop. Uh, and, uh, okay, they're both uploaded, continue. Now, usually this would be the part where I'd be going on another screen and getting my Ally Alliance of Independent Authors free upload code for IngramSpark. Um, IngramSpark has now waived all upload fees, which is so nice, um, but they have not waived the revision fees. So because I'm not revising a file, I don't need my free code from Ally right now, but um, I'm sure in the future I will. <laughs> Okay, everything's validated, continue. Okay, I authorize an established title. Yep, good to go. Complete submission, done. Congratulations, thank you. Okay, so what I am gonna do now is go back to my titles because I'm also gonna upload the hardcover. Okay, so this says title and setup. It's not in setup. Okay, but it takes a couple minutes to catch up. What I am gonna do though, because I'm gonna do a hardcover, it's gonna have the same title, same description, all these things, but it's gonna be a slightly different ISBN, it's gonna be a different interior um, and all that jazz. So I'm gonna click duplicate, okay? Because I want to make a copy of this as the hardcover. Now, as you see, the ISBN didn't come through because it knows you can't have the same ISBN on a, on a second book. So I am grabbing my ISBN for the hardcover and I'm gonna be going through the same things. Okay, um, that I just did. So I'm going to go a little bit faster this time because you literally just saw this. Okay, but it remembered, oh, it's a second edition. Isn't this so nice just to duplicate it instead of doing it all over again? My name's in there. Doug's name is in there for the forward. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. This is beautiful. All my subjects are in there. This is in there. Oh, look, look how much time I'm saving. I can just go right through. Everything's the same as last time that I need for those kind of descriptions. It's still a six by nine. It's still black and white interior still going to be on the cream but this time instead of paperback i'm going to pick hardback okay so this is going to be case laminate or digital cloth or jacketed case laminate i'm okay i kind of like the matte i st I, I really prefer matte i know i'm such a i'm such a nerd um, but it remembered it's still the 242 pages isn't that so nice okay Okay. Now, hardcovers are usually more expensive, um, as they should be, because they take more to produce. Um, so everything populated through much faster. It's not glitchy this time, guys. I swear to you, sometimes it is so glitchy. And usually I like to show you guys that to be like, it's not you, really. It's it's this software. Um, but it's being so smooth today. I wonder it's because it is Christmas and nobody else is uploading their book on Christmas but me, um, which is also like a little secret of... But also like on the weekends, people try to upload their books and it's always so slow because everybody's trying to upload their books on the weekends. Everybody's side hustling on the weekends. Um, so that is one thing to keep in mind. But holidays, just me here. Okay. Do, 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 do. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Yes. Enable look in the book. It's not large print. It's not right to left content. Publication dates are the same. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to do the interior and the jacket. Now is a great time to tell you about the sponsor for today's video, Formatted Books. This amazing team formats books. Whether you need an ebook or print interior or both, this team gets the files right so when you upload them to the major self publishing platforms, they are accepted the first time. They now also do cover art, so this can be your one stop shop as an author to get the design for your book done and they charge self-publishing prices for those of us who are all footing the expenses first. I love working with formatted books and I hope you'll give them a try too. Look at the amazing work they've done for my books. I can't wait to see what they can do for you too. Okay, so you didn't miss anything. Um, if you were following along with my Amazon KDP upload tutorial, for some reason my recording software is not letting me record and click save and continue on things on Amazon KDP. I couldn't click 
save on my categories while recording. So I had to stop recording and then it went back to the screen. You missed nothing. I literally stopped recording, hit continue. And now we're here with the metadata and content files validation. Beautiful, no errors. I love it. And that's why I love working with formatted books. They did a beautiful job with the book um, and with, um, is it going to do this again? Okay. Um, and with redesigning the cover, reimagining it, I did a DIY cover back in 2018. And you know what? It or 2017, and you know what? It really looked DIY. So I'm so glad to give this book a facelift um, and get it where it needs to be. And I hope you, as a self publishing author watching this, know that it's okay to say, you know what? I need to go back and retouch something. Um, I think that's good. Okay. Gonna hit authorize, complete. Be all right, it has been two days since I uploaded the new version of Enemies of Peace to Ingram Spark, and I did get my approval e proof email. Now I can click this link here in this email. Or I could just log in to my Ingram Spark account and go to my titles and I can see awaiting your approval. I can click approve here way over on the right, or I could go to the pending approval tab and da da da. -da. It will also be there. So there's multiple ways to get there. I know some people are always wary like clicking links and emails, but you can obviously just log into your Ingram Spark account. It's gonna be on your dashboard, it's going to be all over. Okay, so I'm gonna click enemies of peace. So it's again, it's going to show me the title, the ISBN, the format. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to download the proof. Now, this is a digital copy of the proof. You're just double checking. Yes, I, I put the right the right documents in there. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I picked the right version of the cover. That's correct. Um, so all of that is in there. All of it's going to look good. Um, yep, that's everything that I wanted it to be. Okay, now it's just going to show the book itself. So it's showing the interior. Um, so I'm able to go through and say, yes, all this looks correct. Nothing looks off. Um, it was all single pages. So this is good to go. So I can go all the way through. Okay, and it's good to go. I'm not going to show you every page. Um, check the book out at your library or buy it. Um, so I'm going to exit out of this PDF now. Okay, and I have multiple options here. I can say I approve and it's ready for distribution. I can say I approve, but I only want to print orders from my account. Now, this is a great way if you want to have a physical proof in your hands before you approve for distribution, this second option is what you would choose. And then you would go back in later and sign up for distribution. So that those are the two. Now, if something was wrong, I would say, no, I have new content. Um, no, it needs further review because I think something went wrong on the Ingram Spark side. Like if I opened it and it was an interior for a book I've never heard of um, versus, oh, like I picked the wrong file. Let me upload a new file. So in this case, I'm approving it. I think it's ready to go for distribution. Let's go, okay? And then at the bottom, I'm gonna click continue. I, I usually don't do their promotion, so I'm gonna click no in this case. It's spinning at the top. So we're just waiting. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that is how you upload your print book to Ingram Spark. Next, I'm going to follow the steps to link and remove the first edition. So if you aren't doing a second edition, just be sure to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you later. And if you are doing a second edition, follow me. All right, so I need to go further back. I think it's probably on this page. Yep, okay. So for this one, this is the old version. So I wanna turn off distribution. So I'm gonna click this. Okay, so that's not what I need. I need this one with the distribution. Okay, so this is going to click through to this page and I want to turn off distribution. But you see, there's no easy way for me to do that. So I need to go and fill out a specific form. Okay, so this means I'm going to be contacting customer support. Okay, so I'm back here, Ingram Spark Help, customer support. So I'm going to be able to put in all the information here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to specifically ask them, hey, can you remove this book from distribution? And I've done this before, so I went to an old email and just copy out the information. Okay, and I'm going to hit submit. So this is probably going to take a couple days for me to hear back from them, but I'm making the request. So this is the more manual side on Ingram Spark of asking for this. The second edition is a live one, and the first edition is going away. All right, folks, and that's how you do it. What other questions do you have about Ingram Spark that you'd like to see me cover on the channel? let me know below. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, or even that shiny new thanks button. That tells YouTube that you got value from this information, and then they can get it in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book.